Hi everybody, Sam with Paper Bessels. How are you guys doing? Wanted to come on here and do a quick share of a um, couple of books, journals that I got from Yuki, who is Atelier Pony on Instagram and also on Etsy. I'll grab these off of Etsy. So she'll share stuff and then I, I, you guys already know I'm a fangirl of her, I really like her work. So of course I had to grab the things. And this is another ephemera book. I've, um, in the time that I've been following her, which is, I don't know, probably two or three years now, I've only seen her post um, a few ephemera books. So this will be the third one that I have of hers. Yeah, I told you I was a fan girl. But she just makes great things in her ephemera, ephemera is beautiful. So, I mean, look at this. Is it? Look at how beautiful. Right? Nice and heavy. I don't, I don't even begin to know. I mean, did she make this from scratch? Did she? I don't know. She just grabbed something and like embellish it I mean, no, no. and I just appreciate what she did so I grabbed it nice little tag fits right in there all the little lace detail I mean look how thick this book is and every page is jammed full of ephemera look at how she did these like looks like she laminated some lace pieces I'm hitting everything, sorry, covering up the light. Ugh. Um, and then just did some collaging here and there. So, a little bit of embossing. She's filming! So, really pretty pieces. Sorry, it's my daughter. Mom? She's filming. Some of these I recognize as her principles which she's got great principles too, you should check out. My gosh, it's gorgeous. Look at the little hexagon pieces she's put together. I told you, it's pretty. <laughs> and there's on the back of her like coffee tea dye paper, which I've grabbed from her before. I mean, look at, it's just all so pretty. Nice little strips, collage strips with some sewing detail on there. I've asked her before what sewing machine she had because I had I had killed a few during a project. And I was giving up and I was like, girl, I need to get a different machine. What do you have? Because yours looks great and blah, 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 blah. She told me, but I've not, I've not done it. I just tried to revive the ones that I had and my brother fixed it actually. Is this how it was? Does it matter, Sam? It doesn't. Quite obsessing. With cute little pockets with all of the jummies in here. That is so cute. It's just a little bag. And it's all like popped up. Cute, right? Yes. Yes, it is, Sam. Thanks. I thought so too. More of the little hexagons little raised piece with a little bit of trim there and a bow. Looks like that's tea dyed, coffee dyed, avocado dyed, some kind of dyed. There's that more little laminated detail with a lace, if you can see that. Some tags, a little bit more of her collaging. The texture and all this stuff is so pretty. That's actually real wallpaper. Some nice little vintage wallpaper. More. This one's actually a little flip up. She can like use it for all kinds of things. Tag cutouts on from her. These are her principles for sure because I have this too. I have some of her principles because they're so cute. Use them in some projects. More laminated. That's not really cute actually. Some type of a little lace piece that's really cute. Wow, look at she did a little paper weaving. 
That's really cute. Girl, the patience that I do not have. Another reason why I buy these, because I have all this ephemera made by her now. Well, I, some more. <laughs> That's really cute. So I can use this ephemera in all kinds of projects or even just in my own um, journaling, which is mostly what I do. Look at that. It's so cute. problems with that one before when I was looking at it. Some stamps, um, little bits, more principles on top of her coffee tea dye paper. This is really pretty, Yuki. You did such a great job. Oh, look at this little detail. I have to show you this. So the paper clips are on the inside and the outside, so you can just look at that. And it looks like she did some images, like she scanned some laces. Fantastic. Might be some of her printables. You'll have to check it all out. It looks like a napkin on top of her paper. That actually feels... What a great idea. I have yet to decoupage with napkins. Ugh. One day. It's on my list of things to do. More of those with the vintage wallpaper. More little pockets. More of her sewing, collaging. It's cute paper with the bows. Yeah, there's lots of little tuck spots. Look at the little baby girl. She has some principles of those too, which I love. Those were cute too. Um, I thought these were cute. It's like clear, clear. What do you call this again? Is that? I forget what it's called. Acetate. <laughs> Tags. <laughs> With little vintage images. Those are so cute. All the, the bunny, the squirrel, and the little lamb bird. I really like that. I'm going to have to remove that one because I'm going to have to use that for something. Okay, and then there's little strips. Little collage strips that she's done. Definitely will use these. Those are cute. More pockets. I love how she used little die cuts in there. Great idea. And she made some tickets. I have some things to make tickets with and I may have to get with her and get her to help me do all the things. I just really love this idea of laminating like vintage lace. That's a great idea. I'm sure it's not the first time you guys have seen it, but you know, remember Sam? She's new. Give her a little, give her a little grace. <laughs> nice little tags that have been collaged on coffee tea dye paper in those pockets you've never seen these she does these she actually sells them on her etsy as well oh my gosh that's an envelope Woohoo! so it's just paper that she's done special things to and embossed and painted and just really cute i love that she did it with envelopes nice and she's got another one back here She actually sells um, those, like I said, on her Etsy just by themselves. And there's another page of those little paper clips. More images of lace. Those are the blues. Beautiful. Look at that paper. Where's that paper from? Yuki? That's cute. And there's some more. Oh, look at the little Peter Pan image. That's actually material. Isn't that cute? Some of her principles on coffee tea dye it looks like sheet music oh that's a nice thick envelope nice cute more cute paper more collaging she does some great collaging love her collaging look at all these pages oh yeah this fell out and i wasn't sure which one i went in i need to get this dye isn't that cute i'll just put it here Paper, more pockets, pockets. You know what this feels like? This feels like um, the material from your like reusable bags, like the ones down here. We use them at Publix because that's what we have down here. But 
at your grocery store, reusable bags. Oh, that one's really cute. Isn't it? We're all like into the bee thing right now too. That's really cute. Good job, Yuki. Que lindo. Ooh, nice tea dyed tag. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited. Um, what do I, ooh, look at some die cuts layered on top of the paper weaving and then made a tag. Great job, that's beautiful. That's gonna be mine forever. I'm not sharing that with anybody. More tags, look how grungy that one looks. Fantastic. A little side pocket here, cute little detail. That's your back. There's little acetate windows or pockets, kind of like throughout here and there. There's another little acetate tag. Really cute stuff. And then she's got a little piece of lace right there. So that is the ephemera book that I got from her. You have to take a look at her Etsy. She only had the one, but you know. The other thing that I'm so excited about, I have to tell you the story. So these are her... Um, I think she called them her mom journals, you know, basically loaded with stuff, you know, about moms. So perfect timing, right? Mother's Day. She had three. I know that you're noticing that I have two. So I have two of the three. I can't be greedy, right? I should let somebody get the one, but I thought about it. So what happened is I, I talked to my daughter and I was like, these would be perfect. I really wanted something to kind of document stuff with my mom um, I won't get into detail right now about that because I'm still too emotional about it. Um, but she, so Gabby ended up getting this for me and then I didn't know for sure if she did. And I kept seeing, you know, Yuki posts and I'm like, dang, I really want, let me just go ahead and get one. And the time she only had one left. So I ended up getting this one for myself and I was blessed enough to have received this from my daughter for mother's day which is the exact, this was my first pick. So I'm so glad she got this for me. It means so much to me. And the fact that I got two out of the three, I can't even tell you. So inside they are very similar. The outside, I mean, obviously this one is a little different. This is the heart with some embroidery on the inside. Beautiful. This actually comes off and there's a pocket in here. Um, same thing with this one. This one just has a different um, frame on the front. This one's square with some beautiful embroidery on the front. But inside they're mostly the same. So I'm just going to go through the guts of one. And Yuki's got some great videos also that go over them as well. So if you really want to see detail on the other one, you can always check out her, um, her Instagram. She has a video of it. So beautiful sorry closure. Sorry lace closure. Look at the inside. Look at that cloth kind of runs throughout just absolutely beautiful I cannot wait I have all kinds of stuff to already stash in these so I'm so thankful that she made these it's just you have no idea how I really need this right now but that's painted see precious memories I mean ugh. a little flip out here a little place to tuck stuff look at that I think that's so retro and cute she has done um, detailing everywhere with stitches. I'm going to have to take this off because it's starting to bend. Okay. Um, this has a nice little closure. I'm, I actually haven't opened this. So I don't know what this was. So is there? No, there's not. It's just for looky loose. What a great idea. So she did some hand stitching. Look how beautiful. Die cuts, inking, staining, some more collaging, stitching, beautiful work. Look at the pink dyed paper, avocado dyed paper, little lace trims. Blue, what do you get? Is that the cabbage dye? And the detail and stitching, great papers. Listen to the sound, gorgeous. So there's one signature, 
there's two signatures in this book. So there's the, okay, so two. That's some of her own lace that she actually sells that she hand dyes. So if you like that look, check out her, her Etsy. She sells these laces. I actually have a bundle that I grabbed that had that too. Gosh, I made some pretty stuff with it too. Nice little pocket. There's a little bow paper clip. There's another little flip out. Look at the little vintage labeling. Pockets. Yumminess. See, to mom with love. Mm, mm, mm. This is actually a, um, a material pocket. Fabric. And that a fabric pocket. More hand stitching. And the other one is loaded with similar ephemera as well. So there's a lot of little hand stitched pieces. I love that detail. First, my mother, always my friend, forever together. Our love never ends. Yeah, I'm moving on. Um, smile. Sorry. Sorry. Little hand stitching. Sorry. Hand painted. These are just all so pretty. So I feel like Yuki made these special just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it was Mother's Day for all of us, right? No, she made them for me. <laughs> just for me. She just didn't know it. I love the little stamp detail. Another little pocket. Isn't that cute? Look at this paper. Pretty sure those are her principles. Little baby girl. This is the second. We're getting into the second signature. More of the vintage labeling. Some graph paper lace collage stitching hand stitching machine stitching inks and dyes like beautiful job yuki beautiful job I'm so in love a little lace detail here in the corner of that page oh i still have a coffee tea dye paper with the little laces those are some of my favorites nice paper some little gloss paper, glossy paper from a children's book. One of her little wax pieces that she's made a charm out of and put on and put on a, um, a pen. This is so pretty. Sorry, I'm like distracted by how pretty this lace is. So this is the same lace that she made pockets out of looks like it I could be wrong um for the ephemera book that we just looked at and she had just um made pockets and geez that's really pretty girl little buttons on pins lace more of the sweet paper look how cute a little vintagey tape did you make that that's really cute. More hand stitching, dyeing, inking. Look, that's so cute. <clears throat> you are my favorite little pocket here. That one's painted. A little, let me move it this way. A little pocket here. It says mom, memory. This one says diary. A little pocket there. That's really cute. And then there's like a little packet of ephemera in the back. And all the things, some vintage papers in there. So that is my story on these precious journals that I cannot wait to start using and documenting in. Not only, you know, I forgot to, that was a little add-on. I think it was wrapped and then this was on top. They were wrapped really beautifully too. Every time I buy something from her, it's just absolutely gorgeous, everything that's in it. Um, so I can't wait to start documenting, like I was saying, not only about my mother, but also about my children. So I have two lovely books to do that with. And I am in awe of how beautiful they are. Yuki, thank you so much. I've messaged her. She understands how much this means to me, especially right now. So make sure you guys check her out. Show her some love. Follow her on Instagram. Check out her Etsy. 
her creations are always lovely. Um, if you guys have any questions, or comments, um, I appreciate you guys' continued prayers and love. And I will talk to you guys soon. Love you. Besos. Bye.